Hey, I'm Crompwell, and today I've got a quick tip for you about how to rotate elements of geometry around the axis of an edge. If you don't know what that means, just stay with me. I'm going to show you how to do this. Now, this was something that was difficult to do prior to, I think, Blender 2.8. I'm not sure. This may work in previous versions. Don't quote me on that. I work with 2.8 and more specifically 2.81, which recently released, and I know that in 2.8 and above, we have some really awesome snapping tools that make this sort of problem a lot easier than it was to handle in the past. So a friend of mine asked me, how do I rotate polygons around the axis of an edge? And he gave me this example. So I've created this, I've created this plane, and I'm just going to stretch it out the way he did. I'll apply the rotation and scale. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate this off of any normal axis just to really drive this point home that we can actually do this according to the geometry itself. We don't actually have to worry about the world axes. We're going to do it according to the geometry. And I'm going to apply that rotation and scale as well. So it's basically impossible for me to get this back to its original state. So I'm not using any tricky math or anything like that. I'm literally just using the snap options that we have inside of Blender 2.8 and above. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a cut in this thing. And I'm just going to slide these vertices around to give us a weird cut that doesn't conform to any of the normal axes. In fact, I'm not happy with this rotation. I'm going to rotate it just a little bit more. And there we go. So that cut doesn't go through any normal axis. I can look at it from any view, and it's just irregular. Um, so for those of you who are hardcore 3D modelers, this might give you a little bit of anxiety. But I promise this will help those of you who are trying to rotate things around the axis of an edge. So what do I mean by that? I'm going to put in a little more Geometry here just to match the example my friend gave me and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the edge mode and I'm going to select this edge this edge is the edge my friend wants to use as an axis in order to rotate these four polygons up here well, how do we do that so I can snap my cursor to selected but the problem is my 3d cursor doesn't orient its rotation to that edge well how do I do that fortunately we have some nice snapping options inside of blender 2.8 so if I open this up I can say snap to edge which gives us some additional options and align rotation to target and we're going to affect the movement and the rotation of the 3d cursor the last thing we have to do is simply turn on the snap and grab our 3d cursor option here and now if we drag around the 3d cursor you can see that the 3d cursor aligns itself and its rotation to the edges of our geometry so now what I can do is now that it's aligned now I can hit shift s and say cursor to selected so that it's in the middle this will just make our finding our rotation gizmo a little bit easier and what we can do now is we can enable our rotation so actually let's switch back to our select first and we're going to hit the three key and grab those polygons that we want to rotate making sure that our 3d cursor doesn't move and now what we can do is we can grab our rotation gizmo now you may be looking at this saying hold on a second this isn't doing what we want it to do because my gizmo is in the middle of the geometry and it's not according to the orientation of the 3d cursor well there are a couple things that we need to do first so first we got to change our orientation to cursor so that changes the orientation according to the orientation of the 3d cursor and then we also need to change our transform orientations to cursor uh, the reason I do this is actually because this orientation appears to only affect the gizmo and not if you use the R keys for rotation so I like to do both uh, pick whatever one is more comfortable for you and then we also need to change the transform pivot from the active element or median element whatever it is by default right now it's on median um, we need to change it to 3D cursor. And now we can see that our gizmo is actually following the orientation of the 3D cursor. And if I grab the Z axis and rotate it, you can see that these uh, polygons are actually rotating around the axis of that edge. And just to show you again, I'm going to hit RZ and you can see that that behavior is the same. Now, if I didn't set this to cursor here, if I just left that on global, you can see that my RZ is not going to behave like normal. It's going to behave according to the world and local transform so make sure that you set this to cursor if you also want to use your hotkeys so here now if I hit R and Z it's going to rotate around that axis just as we predicted 
And then just to drive this home even further, I'm going to put another edge in here and I'm going to make this the new version or this the new uh, axis. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my cursor, I'm going to align it here and then just say cursor to selected. And then I'm going to grab my selection, hit three so that I have polygons and then I'm going to select these polygons and now I can hit RZ and now I can rotate around that axis now. So now you can see we can create all sorts of folded and twisted geometry if that's what we want. And like I said previously, this was kind of difficult to accomplish, but now it's much easier with the awesome snapping tools that we have inside of Blender 2.8. So I hope this is something that's useful to you. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comment, and I hope you have a great day. I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks for watching.